Into his person with, with songs of praises, yes, with joy. This morning, Lord, we lift up our heart this morning. Thank you, Jesus. You. Hallelujah. We thank you this hour, Lord. Yes, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, and we thank you, Father, for giving us the grace to be in your presence, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord. Hallelujah. We pray for a wonderful time in your presence, yes, God. Lord. Yes, God. Hallelujah. As we go through the time of worship, Lord. Yes, God. God. Hallelujah. Every habit hath, Lord. We also uplift that this morning. Yes, Every yes, burning law, we set it loose yes, this morning in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. And the law we leave it from here. We are not leaving from here the same, Lord, Father God. Because your word said that no one comes in his presence and goes the same, Lord. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord. We want to thank Hallelujah. you, Lord, for our bishop, the yes, servant of God, and your place over this church. Lord, I he continue to make an impact Hallelujah. here and abroad, Lord. We say thank you for his life, Lord. We thank you for the leadership, Lord, Father God. We thank you for every members, Lord, Father God. In this place, Lord, Father, we thank you for their prayers. We thank you for their support, Lord, Father God. And Lord, we thank you this morning, Lord. We commit the prayer team into your hand, Lord, Father God. And everyone, Lord, that you are using here in a special way, Lord, Father God, yes, to Lord. touch your people, Lord, Father God, to transform life, Lord, Father God. We say thank you for them, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We thank you, Father. We worship you, Lord. We give you all the glory and honor, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Man, hallelujah. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Come on, let's lift up a shout of praise in the house. Because he's a great God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. He's great. Hallelujah. And he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, put your hands together. Hallelujah. He's a great God. And we just want to lift him up today. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, oh. oh.
sufficient God hallelujah we thank you Lord for this time in your presence Jesus and we lift your name high hallelujah 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 Jesus hallelujah 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 bless your name we bless your name God Yes, God. We thank you, Lord God, Hallelujah. that you are our way maker. You are a miracle worker, God. You are the best thing that has ever happened to us, God, and we bless your name, God. We thank you that you're all sufficient, God, Hallelujah. that you're mighty, God. We love you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. You are here. Moving in this place, we worship you, we worship Hallelujah. you, you are here, mending broken hearts, yes, we worship you, we worship you. You are a way maker, way maker miracle worker, promise keeper, light, light in the darkness, my God, that is who, that is who you are. You are, you are a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. God, that is who that is who you are you are here you are here moving moving in this place we worship, we worship you we worship you we 
worship you. We worship you. You are here. Mending broken hearts. We worship you. We worship you. You are a way maker. Miracle, Miracle promise keep us light in the darkness, my God. That is who, that is who you, you are. are. You are a way maker. Way maker. Miracle, Miracle word. promise keep us light in the darkness, my God. That is who, that is who you, you are. are. You are. You are a way. Miracle, promise keep us light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are, you are, you are a way maker. Miracle, promise keep us light in the darkness, my God, my God. That is who you are, you are, you are. Who? That is who. 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 That
is who you are. You are, you are a way maker, way maker miracle, miracle word, promise keeper, promise keep light. light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Hallelujah, we lift your name, God, you're a great God. We worship you, Jesus. You're the great I am. Hallelujah. 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 King of glory, you're welcome in this place today. King of glory, you're welcome in this place today. Move, God. Move, God. Move in our midst today, God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Come on, come on. He's worthy. Yes, he is. He's worthy. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. All sufficient, God. Yeah. Hallelujah, God. Whoa. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have your way. Have your way, God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. 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 He's a way maker. He's a promise keeper. It's a light in the darkness. Our God, that is who you are. Whoa, way maker. Miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, our God, that is who you are. You're so good to us, God. You're so faithful to us, God. You love us, so, oh God. Yes, Lord. You're worthy, God, hallelujah. And we thank you, God. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Thank you, yes, Jesus. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Are you happy to be in the presence hallelujah. of God? Hallelujah. Yes, God, hallelujah. If you are happy this morning, I want you to share a big amen. We want to thank God again for another opportunity that he has given us to be in his presence, Lord. We thank you this tower, Lord, Father. We worship you, Lord, Father, God, for another worship experience this hour, Lord. We thank you for who you are, Lord, Father, God. Words are just inadequate to express your goodness, your loving kindness in our life, Lord. We worship you this hour, Lord. 
We thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord. Hallelujah. Have your will, Lord. Have your way, oh God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, we do. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. This morning, we thank God for his grace upon our life. We thank him for who he is in our life. Words are just inadequate to express the goodness and the blessings of God upon our life. This morning, our word will be coming from Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 4 to 8. But uh, because of time, we'll just read a few verses and see what the, what the Lord has for us today. So if you have your Bible, kindly turn with me in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 34, verse 4. Are you there? If you are there, say amen. If you are not there, say, Lord, help me to get there. And it's free. But you have not strengthened the weak or healed the sick. Or burn up the injure the injury. You have not brought back the, the straight or such for the loss. Let us pray. And so, Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for your word. Lord, I refuse to speak of my own. And Lord, that you will speak to the hearing of your people. Have your way, Lord. Lord, may you help me to speak clearly this morning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you because your word has come to encourage, to rebuke, to give us strength, Lord. Let your word sit, sit in this place. Every stony heart, we soften it. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord, at the end of the day, we accomplish the purpose for which He has been given. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Now we are referenced the Holy Spirit. You may please have your seat. Amen. We are referenced the Holy Spirit this morning through the time of praise, worship, through the time of prayer. It is important that we also reference those who God has given us to lead us. And we want to thank God. Thank you for how blessed we are, how privileged we are to have God's humble servant over us. We want to acknowledge B. Shirt Jackson, the father of the house that have been ordained in this place. Hallelujah. And around the world. We want to thank God. Thank you for his lovely wife. Our mother. Lady Jackson. And also the leadership of the church. The elders. The minister. And everyone who the Lord are calling in a particular way. They are to be a help in advancing the kingdom of God. We want to say God bless there. And also you the congregation. We say God bless you for your prayer and support to keep the work of God going. Hallelujah. This morning, we want to say you are welcome. And also those online, we want to say uh, God bless you for your time, for tuning in. And we want to say that no time is ever wasted in the presence of God. In fact, it is the most useful time that you can use compared to any other thing. Hallelujah. This morning, I just want to speak to us from the verse that we have read. I want to speak to us on what I title that the Lord has spoken. Hallelujah. The Lord has spoken. What time is this, church? The time is now. That's correct. You got it right. The time is now. And we know that the Lord has declared through his seventh bishop that the time is now. 
And he also make it very clear what we need to do in this time of now. And so from the beginning of the year, Bishop numerated some of the things that the church must take advantage to do in this time of now. And such as to preach the word, to teach, to evangelize, to pray, of course, to give, to influence, to encourage, to correct, to stand up for justice and equality, and to impart spiritual truth for the cause of the kingdom of God. This is the word that God has given through his servant in this time. Hallelujah. Now, in this time, hallelujah. So as we are in the time of now for the church to address the urgency of the condition that the world is confronted with today, as I just read, the Holy Spirit reminded me of our responsibility of what we need to do in this time, as we just read from God's Word. And if you take that scripture into context, you will see this was a warning that the Lord was given, you know, to the prophet Ezekiel about the shepherd that have left their sheep unattended. And as a result of that, a lot of things were happening. The sheep, they were, they were scattered all around, you, you know, have no sense of direction. That's what was happening in the days of Ezekiel in the, in the life of the Israelites. But today, it may not be a warning. The Lord is telling us what to do. Hallelujah. And so, anytime the word or shepherd is mentioned in our time, we try to limit it to only those with the title of pastor, elders, or minister. But from the biblical point of view, I believe we are all shepherds of the Lord. If you believe it, can you say amen? We are all called to this one great commission of our Lord Jesus Christ to go and make disciples of all nations. So it is not the pastor. You know, it is not limited to the elders, but it is all of us are involved in the advancement of God's kingdom. It's about using whatever gift that we have received to serve others, to faithfully administer God's grace in its various forms, according to 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. And it is by demonstrating our faith that the world will see what that the Lord will see the grace of God in action. Hallelujah. So we are all shepherds in our homes as we are bent told from time to time. Hallelujah. So we are shepherds in our homes, in our community, in our workplaces, in school, demonstrating our faith to the world to see God's love in action. Hallelujah. So, this is the call that God has called us to do. And this is the time. Hallelujah. And so, so considering the scripture that we read, we see the condition of the word of the Israelites. We see the condition of loss. We see the condition of sick. We see the condition of scattering and murmuring and scattering and, and wandering around. We see the condition of endangering. So these are some of the conditions that the world has found herself in today. 
And the time is now. Terry said the time is now. And the time is now for the church to seize every opportunity. As God has said to his seven for us to address this condition. Hallelujah. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will help us. We give all the enablement uh, for us to, dre- to address these conditions in this time. So from this message, I would like to, to challenge the church with three conditions for us to address. Number one, we must find the lost and bring back those who are left the fit or backslided. Who has left from the path of God? Every soul is important to the Lord. You remember the parable of Jesus Christ about the shepherd, the missing one sheep. And then he left the 99 to go after that one sheep. And the Bible says after he furnished, he embraced it, you know, Rejoice about it. And the most important thing, the host of heaven rejoices. So that's how important so is, you know, in the eyes of God. Amen. And so it is upon the church to seize every opportunity to find the lost, to find those who are basleted. In Jesus' name. And the time is now for us to do that. Hallelujah. Number one. Number two. We must heal the sick. People that are sick spiritually, physically, emotionally. And they need the healing power of the church. When Jesus called us to this one great commission to go into the word to make disciples of all nations, baptizing them, teaching them to observe all things. He also gave us the power, the authority, hallelujah, in Acts. And also in Mark chapter 16, verse 17, he gave us the power to heal the sick, hallelujah. So the time is now for us to heal those who are sick spiritually. Those who are sick physically, God has given us the power. And we prayed that we will use the authority that God has placed us in, that God has given us. Hallelujah. And three, we must gather the scattered and the wanderers. These were ones of the condition that the Lord was warning Ezekiel about the sheep, about the shepherds, sorry, that has left their sheep unattended. And because of this, they were scattered all in the hillside, wandering around because no shepherd to direct them. And as the result, they were vulnerable and could be killed by any wild animals at any time. The same today, there are people all around us, in our families, in our communities, in nation, with our shepherds, living without any spiritual covering, directing their lives living without the essence of life as we what as we learn about this going sunny from our bishop. And they have and no one to guide them or direct their lives to Christ, telling them the fullness of life through Christ Jesus our Lord. And they are vulnerable to the agenda of the devil. To steal, to kill, and to destroy. This is a time the Lord is saying through his servant 
that this is a time for us to gather them and direct them to Christ. Hallelujah. So I would like to conclude with this, with Romans chapter 10, verse 14. The how then can they call on the one they have not believed? And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how then can they heard without someone preaching to them? And how can anyone preach unless they are sent? So again, we have a duty to perform in order to direct the, the scatterers and the wanderers, we must be able to tell them, you know, uh, about Jesus. They will be able to believe in Jesus Christ. And how can we do that? Until they hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Until they come to the saving grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And until we move out or reach out to them. Hallelujah. So this is the responsibility that we have as a shepherd. And the Lord is saying that the time is now. Hallelujah. And I believe that we will obey the word of God in every direction that he has called us for us to advance his kingdom, that we will obey and play our part. Hallelujah. And I believe we are in obedience to that. Amen. If you believe that, can you say amen? So that is the word of God this morning. The, word, the Lord has led me to pray, you know, in two directions as we come uh, close to, for today's message. And it's for us to pray for those who don't understand the time that we are living in. That the Lord will open their heart, their mind to understand what the Lord is saying in this time. And so if you are here, and then you don't have a clear understanding of this time. Or if you are listening to us online, we want to pray that the Lord would open your mind. And also want to pray for those who understood this time. And who are trusting God uh, in a way in which, you know, they can be part of the time to advance God's kingdom. You know, those who are identify a particular thing to do as a way of being part of advancing God's agenda. Maybe you say, oh, I want to be committed to prayer. I want to be committed to giving, you know, for mission. I want to be committed to the service that God has give, given me for me to, to advance his kingdom. I want to be committed to this gift. We want to pray it for you. And finally, we also want to, 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 to give the opportunity to those who have not received Jesus Christ. We want, you to, give, we want to give the opportunity to you to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. So first, let us pray. Father, we pray, Lord, that you, Lord, will help those who don't understand the time that we are living in. But we are living in a critical time. And Lord, you have spoken through your servant as to what we need to do in this time, Lord, Father. So, Lord, we pray for your grace that people will understand and begin to move, Lord, Father God. We thank you, Holy Spirit. And Lord, we pray for those, Lord, who understand the time, Lord, and who want to be part of the time, Lord, Father God, who have identified a, a particular way that, that you have called them, Lord, Father God, in this time, Lord, Father. Maybe, Lord, you have called them, Lord, uh, to, to pray, Lord, to be faithful in prayer for the needs to pray for the sick, to pray for the needy, Lord. We also pray, Lord, Father God, for those who do are called uh, to be a faithful giver. Who say, Lord, in this time, I want to be a faithful giver. I want to give to mission. 
I want to give to the work of God, Lord. We pray that you, Lord, will provide the resources that they need, Lord, Father God. We also want to pray for those who identify a particular gift or service in a way that they can advance God's kingdom, Lord. We pray, Holy Spirit, that you, Lord, will give them the grace. That you, Lord, will give them the commitment, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. And finally, Lord, we want to give the opportunity to those who don't know you as your Lord and Savior, Lord. We pray today that they will receive you. And Father, if they are here or online, I would like for you to pray this prayer. Hallelujah. Say, I confess today that I, I, that I am a sinner. That I believe in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I believe that he died on the cross of Calvary to save me from my sin. I want him to come into my heart and be the king of my life, the root of my life. If you are here and online, if you pray that prayer, I want you to say amen. And you may see it to be simple, but by faith, and the word of God said in John chapter 1, verse 12, that God has given us the power or the right to be his sons or daughter. So if you pray this prayer with all your heart and by faith, you are part of God's family. Hallelujah. And we will call on our brother, Jonathan, who will give us the necessary information as to how we can reach you. And then afterward, we'll take our benediction. Amen. Amen. Thank God for the word this morning and for Elder Jolo. Yeah, that's right. We can clap. We can be happy. We can celebrate. It was a good word, timely word. And we thank you for joining us in person and online. Um, if you have a desire to connect further with this body, we want to give you that opportunity. You can reach us at topraise.org. That's T O P R A I S E.org. You can send us a message, and we can connect with you. We can help you find a Bible-believing church if you're not in our area. We're headquartered in York, South Carolina. We realize that because of the pandemic, people are tuning in from all over the country, all over the globe, and we thank God for that. So connect with us. Reach out to us, and we will help connect you with a Bible-believing church. Um, you can also reach us on our Facebook page, Tabernacle of Praise Church International, where you may be watching this broadcast today. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day. Hallelujah. This morning, we want to bless you for coming. We want to say, may the favor of God rest upon you. All those with have it heart, we pray that the Lord will uplift your heart this morning. We pray for those who are seeking new job. We pray that the Lord will grant you that job. Those who are in school, we pray that God will give you the grace to pursue your your desire. We come against every uh, tricks of the enemy. We come against accident. We pray that the grace of God will rest upon you. Let us bow. And so, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you this hour, Lord, for your word that have come forth at this time. That, Lord, that you have spoken. And, that, Lord, we pray that, the, that you will give us the grace that no condition, Lord, will determine as to how we should honor your word, Lord, Father God. We pray, Lord, Father, as you are, are giving a direction to your servant as to what to do in this time, Lord. 
we pray that you, Lord, will help us, Lord, Father God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your word, Lord. We thank you, Father, for taking us through the rest of the day, Lord, Father. We come against every challenges. We come against every plans of the enemy, Lord. Thank you, Father. And let your grace be upon us. We bless your name, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. And let us share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.